Jeopardy. Today is November 13th. This is our second attempt. Come on, guys, don't make a mess with your food, please. Um, our second attempt at videotaping this particular litter. Um, turns out that through my research and trying to fix the uh, video yesterday, um, the culprit of the change for YouTube to iPhone is YouTube, not iPhone. Uh, there, I went on their website where I used to go occasionally. I don't know whether I hit something, but I know in the case of yesterday, I was trying to um, uh, take photos of this litter. And as you can see, they've got plenty of energy right now. And one of the puppies stepped on my uh, phone, which was face up in photo mode. I messed up something and I kept trying to straighten it out and straighten out and I thought I did. Well, apparently they did something where they turned the video, um, whatever you call it, <laughs> lens or what have you, to where it was actually videotaping horizontally instead of vertically, even though I was holding my phone vertically. Now, I'm sure all you Apple gurus and, and smartphone gurus and everything else know exactly what I did and could have said that in about three words, but pardon me, <coughs> I'm not that. Uh, and at my age, <laughs> I learn what I can or I learn what I need, but I don't need to know it all. All right. Um, now, this is, of course, Roxy's Litter. Uh, they are up for selections right now. And uh, we have three girls remaining. One girl and four boys have already been chosen out of this litter of uh, seven. Uh, <laughs> look at you. That's my goof girl. I mean, oh, no, 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 that's the pink, dark, dark pink girl, I'm sorry. They're both, I mean, they're personality, yeah, as you can see, energy and personality. So, um, anyhow, they're going to be great puppies. They really, really are very interactive, very fun, uh, just really outgoing person. I'm sorry, I'm, I didn't realize you were pooping. Good puppy to poop in a poop box. Yes, they've been very good. It's very clean litter. Really have enjoyed taking care of them, they make my job a lot easier. Yes. Um, again, all the boys have already been selected. Now, when I say available, they're not available per se, okay? The three girls were waiting, I'm working on down through our uh, reservation list in order to get the selections done for those that are ready. Now, even if they say ready, if their gender's not available or the markings or colors or what have you, or even personality, uh, they still may choose to waive their opportunity to choose a puppy and we keep on working down the list. So, sometimes we've had one or two left over. It doesn't last very long, but that puppy does not necessarily get chosen from somebody that's already on our list. It may be a, very bra a brand new inquiry. So, if you're just contacting us or been looking at our website and not obligated yourself to one of these puppies or one of our future litters in advance, don't give up hope. Stranger things have been known to happen. All right. So let's introduce. Oh, okay. You were just sitting down. That is our aqua colored girl right there. She is still unspoken for or unassigned. Okay, the one at the top there playing with the toy. That's our aqua colored girl. And the one beating up on her, I believe, is my goofy red girl. Nope, that's the dark pink girl. Is it? Let me see. Oh, I hate it when I do that. Because, oh, they're hard to tell apart. Yeah, that's dark pink. Okay, there's dark pink right there. She's as goofy and outgoing as her sister. This is her sister right here with the red collar. There she is. Let's turn your collars up, guys. I just changed them yesterday, but it's hard to see them when they fall down. All right, so that's pink right there. That's red. And where'd my aqua colored girl go? Uh, and then I'll introduce the ones to the people that have already chosen their puppies but would anxiously love to see an update. Okay, that is our aqua colored girl. This kind of wrestling is very, very, very typical of a litter of puppies. It's how they learn to socialize. It's how they learn to determine who's boss. It's just part of the canine instinct. Please don't concern yourself with that. This is, that's just what they're doing. I've never had one puppy kill another, much less hurt one. So, um, anyway, please don't panic. These, this breed growls. Does not mean they are mean. They just growl, and a lot of times it's just play growl. So, too many people... Not too many people, but a few people have often thought this growling, uh, 
that is common in this breed means they've turned into Cujo. That's not necessarily, uh, necessarily true. Sometimes it could be a painful situation. Uh, Pano, if you look up growing pains in puppies, that'll explain a little bit more. We've had a couple of incidences of that, not very much, but um, you have to be careful about your food choices to avoid that, okay? Um, but it sometimes just happens. They can completely grow out of it, uh, completely recover from it. But uh, oftentimes anti-inflammatories from your vet um, and some quiet time and just not, you know, touching them so much to where it causes pain. I mean, I hate to say it, but when I heard if somebody touches my sore spot, guess what? I'm going to growl too. <laughs> so um, just be tuned into your puppy and know its signs for the various things going on. Okay, done preaching for now. Here is Finnegan. Finnegan again. Yeah, there's our Mr. Finnegan. Um, he, actually now I think because I'm calling him Finnegan, that's his given name by his new um, puppy mom. And I can I, I think, to be honest with you, he's a green collar boy, but all he and I kind of forgot what his ID name was, okay? But the ID names are noted on the website. Now, I did honestly try to get uh, still photos yesterday. Can anybody tell why I did not succeed in doing so? It's very hard to shoot a moving target. I have been through so many cameras, two SLRs, I uh, can't even begin to tell you how much money I have spent over the years, our 11 years in business, on uh, various cameras trying to get one to capture my puppies on the move. Um, easier said than done. And I even gave one of my SLRs away to my niece in Kansas a couple years ago um, when she was in the parade in Pasadena. Um, their uh, school out in Lewisburg, Kansas was uh, honored with being chosen to be in the Rose Bowl parade, which was a really, really exciting opportunity, okay, especially for a small town um, high school. And having been out at my sister's quite a bit um, recently, uh, one extra trip, of course. Anyway, um, ha it's a really, really sweet, sweet, sweet town. Um. <laughs> what are you doing, silly? Yeah, I know, that new collar is bothersome, isn't it? Sorry. All right, here's our light blue collar boy. <laughs> Got the little dot on his head. <laughs> So don't forget me. This is our cute, adorable little light pink collared girl. She has been selected, okay? And let's see. This is our red collared girl. She is unassigned as at this point. Our aqua colored girl unassigned. Uh, that is our pink girl, again, unassigned. All right, where's all our guys that we wanna? Here's our black collared boy. Of course, he is selected or has been selected. Got a little bit of gray around your face, I believe. You are going to turn gray. So when they, when you see this early around the eyes, it usually indicates that upon maturity, just like the old English sheepdogs that are born black and white, they will turn uh, gray upon maturity. Okay, and let's see. That's our light pink, light blue. That's our black. We lost Finnegan. There he is. There he is. There he is. He's a cutie. Hi, cutie, 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 cutie. Yes. Say hi to your puppy mama. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of a shot from up above. It's kind of sometimes, <laughs> Finnegan just, no, 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 who is that? Who's that, who is that? Uh, goodness gracious, what are you guys doing with your collars? That's the black collar boy. That's kind of why I'm having trouble finding it because it blends right in with his coat. Um, anyway, he just kind of did the splits. <laughs> He's cute. Uh, light blue right there at the top, uh, or excuse me, at the bottom, and he's playing with the aqua colored girl. All right, and there is our <coughs> oof, um, red, and this is our beautiful little light pink. Oh, I think she's so, I love her face. So cute, so cute. Already selected, sorry guys. There's our light blue. And oh, that's our black collar boy. I just need to move that up. It still blends in with your coat, doesn't it? Yeah. 
There's dark pink, unselected, unselected. There is our aqua color girl, not yet selected. <laughs> There's our bouncy red girl, not yet selected. All right, these puppies are totally fun. I mean, just loads of fun. And they've, they've really come out of their shell since they've been weaned from their mom. They really, really have. Not necessarily a noisy litter. They don't really carry on in the background, although maybe give them a couple days and as they hear me rooting around with the other litters that they might just uh, start carrying on a bit. But honestly, they've been very good. They want attention. Oh, you want to shake Finnegan, huh? You want to shake? Yeah. Oh, you guys are so much fun. Yes, you are. You're so much fun. Yes, you are so black. I see you, I see you, I see you, yes, I see you. There's our apple color girl. Yeah, it's a red color girl. Our light pink cutie pie. Yes, she looks so petite. Her face looks so petite. She's just so sweet. Yes, and then there's Mr. Finnegan. Yeah, there's Mr. Finnegan. Yeah. There he is. All right, <laughs> what are you looking at, babe? <laughs> anyway, uh, I've gone on long enough as it is with the new process. It's gonna take an hour and a half to upload this video to YouTube anyway. Till I can find an alternate method. I have tried transferring and you would think it would be possible. Um, unpublished videos directly from my phone to my website. Um, I have done tried doing that. <laughs> and it just doesn't work. I wish it did because to be honest, I would prefer to do that than to upload all of these videos to YouTube all the time. So, anyway, um, if I find a solution, and hopefully I will, I'll be utilizing it because my time is precious as is everyone else's. All right, thank you very much for viewing our puppies. This is Law Padoodle Canine Manor. Our website is www.lawpdoodlek, the number nine, manor.com. And may God bless you.